So the first thing we need to do when creating our Chamomilla flower pattern swatch is to create our Chamomilla flower. To create the flower, let's enable the grid and the snap to grid feature. So go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. Now zoom into the grid a little bit. And just to make it easier for ourselves, let's create a background color right away. So simply pick the rectangle tool, create a big rectangle and give this one a color that you like. I will choose the spring green right here. Then lock this layer, create a new layer and toggle the visibility of this layer off. So now while having the new layer selected, go to the ellipse tool, hold down the shift key and draw a circle that fills out one of these squares right here. And for the fill color, select a yellow color that you want for the middle of the flower. Then pick the selection tool, hold down the alt key to duplicate and create a copy and place it right here. Then elongate this circle until it fills out two squares and then just one notch more, like this. Then hold down the alt key, go to this anchor point right here and make the ellipse a little bit thinner like this, so that the width is four small squares. Then right click the ellipse, go to arrange and send to back. And for the fill color, we simply want to select a white color. Now pick the rotate tool, hold down the alt key to get these dots next to the cursor and click in the middle of this yellow circle right here. That will bring up this pop-up right here. And in this field right here, we type in 30 degrees and click copy. And we want these flower petals to go all the way around this yellow middle part. So to repeat the last step, simply click Ctrl or Command D until we have petals all the way around the middle of the flower. Then pick the selection tool, select the entire flower, hold down the shift key and unselect the middle part. And then once again, select the rotate tool, hold down the alt key and click inside the middle of the flower. But this time we only want to rotate 15 degrees. Then click copy. We want these petals to be in the back, so right click the petals, go to arrange and send to back. And now we have two options. We want these back petals to be a very light version of the background color. So let's toggle on the background color. And if the background color is a solid color without any patterns, we can simply go to opacity and select 70% opacity for the white color. And this will give the illusion that the back petals are slightly green, but in fact, they are just slightly transparent. This means that if we have a pattern as a background, you will be able to see the pattern through the petals. In that case, you would want 100% opacity and simply choose a solid color that is just a very light version of the background color, like this. Which way you prefer is up to you. Now the chamomile flower is done and I want to remove the strokes from the illustration. So pick the selection tool, select the entire flower, select the stroke and disable the stroke. Then right click the flower and click group. So here we have our Camomilla flower. Now let's create the actual seamless pattern swatch. To do this, simply select the flower, make it a bit smaller. And then we just want to duplicate this flower and make a few of these copies in various sizes and rotations. So let's shrink this one down and rotate it just a little bit. Now keep doing this until you have a small area with flowers. The exact pattern for now doesn't matter. When you have created kinda like a square box with flowers, select all the flowers, go to object, go to pattern and click make. Here we can zoom out and we can see the actual pattern we are going to make. So now let's make adjustments so that the space between the flowers are somewhat equal. And we can also still adjust the size of the flowers. And if you want a bit more variation, we can also go to tile type and select one of these options like brick by row. I think I'm happy with this layout. Then simply click done. And now we can test out our new pattern. Thank you for watching.